government is now embarking on a culture change approach towards violent behaviors in societies. The very first evidence step has been the banning of corporal punishment in schools. We have had a long culture of uh, inferior people resorting to violence, whether it is against women in the home, instilling discipline in our children, or the police attempting to extract confessions from criminal uh, suspects. This culture of what we call the mutraki, the beating, is uh, deeply ingrained in parts of the Fijian psyche. But it is simply not acceptable in the modern age. Efforts of eradicating violence is now far more clear than in the past, with those that engage in any form of violence are now and will be taken to task. We are also making it clear in the ranks of the discipline forces, through a process of education and deterrence, that we have a policy of zero tolerance for torture and other human rights abuses. Whatever may have occurred in the relative turmoil of the past, we have, a, we have drawn a line under such behavior, a line under, under the past. The provisions in our Constitution prohibiting such practices must be respected and without exception. And this applies especially to our law enforcement agencies. Government is also working on processes for law enforcement officers to access training in modern investigation techniques for the better overall performance of law enforcement. Britain is already partnering with us on a six-month pilot project at the Tatonga police station in Suwa in what is called first hour procedure uh, with the legal aid assistance within the first hour of arrest and in uh, uh, digitally recording police caution interviews with suspects to provide greater transparency in the arrest and detention procedure. With law enforcement often signaled out to be associated with violence and force, the procedures and steps now put into place will bring to an end any suggestion that information and confessions are being extracted by force. Jesse Tuisinu, Fijuan News.